So you're thinking about moving to Denver, Colorado, but you're not exactly sure what it has to offer or the city's overall vibe? Well, in this video, we'll talk about a handful of uh, activities, some fun things to see and do in the city, uh, kind of the general overall feel that you get when you come here, and then go to some neighborhoods, check out some different houses and different price points, see what might fit in your budget. And with that, we'll get after it right now. Now, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Colorado, go ahead, hit subscribe, tap that bell below, and you'll be notified every week when we put out new videos with uh, current information and stats around Denver and the surrounding areas. My name's Adam. My partner, Sydney, and our team, we get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you thinking of moving here, and we love it. So if you are thinking of doing the same, go ahead and check out the description below for all of our contact info. We'd love to help you make a smooth transition here to the Mile High City. Now right now I'm in Rhino, River North. It's, it's actually kind of a big arts district, right? We've got blocks east and west of here um, where they've kind of really revitalized the entire area. And right now I'm walking down an alleyway here where uh, there's some galleries, some wine bars, some, some breweries, I think. Yeah, 10 barrels right down there. Pool halls. I uh, got some outdoor seating when it's uh, summertime. I mean, might some, find some people out here on the weekend because really regardless of what time of year it is, the weather's fantastic. We we get 300 plus sunshine, days of sunshine a year. And um, we also get to experience every season, fall, summer, winter, spring, you, you get them all. And sometimes you get them all in one day. Um, so wear your layers and um, be ready to, to take some off or put some on. Now, people in Colorado, they love their outdoor activities, right? They got skiing and biking, um, snowboarding, fishing, kayaking. Gosh, the list just goes on and on. And, and really because Denver is centrally located in the state, uh, we've got I-70, going east and west and I-25 going north and south, right where they intersect is where you'll find Denver. It's really a great jumping off point to get onto the mountains. It's, gosh, probably a uh, half hour drive until you get up there. Now, if outdoor, outdoor activities aren't your thing, that's okay too. There's tons of stuff to do uh, in the comfort of the indoors as well. Um, one thing that comes to mind is the Denver Center for Performing Arts. Colorado Symphony Orchestra performs there. They, they've got other live music coming in. All the Broadway plays when they come into town, that's, that's where you're going to see them in the, in the theaters over there. There's probably five or six theaters within that complex uh, where they have all kinds of shows. So uh, on top of Broadway and theater, you know, we've got the Denver Art Museum. Um, all kinds of museums, the Colorado History Museum, the History of Nature and Science over there in City Park, uh, which is right next to the zoo. A great place to take your, your family. Uh, this time of year, they deck it all out with uh, holiday lights, you know, so you can see the zoo lights. Um, it's, it's an attraction, it changes every year, so you, if you go once, it's not like you never have to go again because it changes all the time. Um, you know, people in Colorado also love their beer, right? So we've got over 400 breweries in the state. Um, so, you know, one of those days of sunshine, uh, you know, you'll find tons of people outside uh, having a, a craft beer, uh, which is pretty fun. I think overall, you know, I'd say the vibe is, you know, in Colorado, people just love to have fun. Um, they're very social, very nice. You know, you always hear about you know, southern hospitality, right? Um, but I think I think you find that here too. There's just welcoming people, a very diverse mix of people, people moving here uh, from all over the country and, and frankly, all over the world. Um, because, you know, there's there's a lot of growth happening right now. Um, over the past couple of years, it's, it's really blown up, but the last stat I saw, it's about 80,000 people uh, a year are moving to Denver in and of itself so you know it's not as big as a city as like a Dallas a New York a LA obviously but um, as people move here from those areas right uh, the city just keeps expanding now I've talked a little bit about Rhino again it's just kind of a 
it's kind of a niche right up here in, in North Denver. Just a little little pocket um, about five five blocks west, five blocks east, south, and north. Uh, where you'll find all these galleries and and breweries and, and shops. But you know, almost every neighborhood kind of has a city center similar to this. Maybe not as big, but you know, every neighborhood is going to have a spot like that for you. So that, that's pretty cool. Right now, I want to go ahead and take you to the first house on the list. It's in S City Park. Uh, kind of mentioned that a little bit. That's where the zoo and uh, Museum of Nature and Science is. Uh, it's a big park. It's 330 acres. There's a golf course running through the middle of it. There's a huge lake that you can go around. I mean, you'll find pickup games of uh, kickball and, and, and volleyball in the summertime. Um, again, people love their outdoor activities here, and, and you'll find them probably with the cold beer there as well. So I'll go ahead, we'll jump in the car, and we'll head on over. We're in a City Park neighborhood, just a little bit north of where we were just at. City Park's at the end of the street here. This property is listed at $599,000. It's just about 2,000 square feet, no, 1998 I think it was. Five bed, three bath, and it, it does need some work. Uh, I could tell you though that this neighborhood, I mean, you're, you're gonna find houses just like this across the street where they're building these new modern houses right next to an old brick ranch. A lot of these houses are all old brick ranches, um, much bigger in size, you're gonna have a lot, obviously a, a garage. Yeah, maybe it's moving ready, but again, it does need a lot of work. So if you're into that 60s style, then, then it's moving ready, you don't have to do anything. I think this house is, is a good value because at $599, put a little bit of work into it. You've got other million dollar houses right across the street from here, or at least close to million dollars. I mean, I'm looking at that one and gosh, I imagine that it was just built maybe last year. Uh, so um, the color definitely needs some work, uh, unless again, you're into that, you know, lime green, yellow that it's got going on there. But for the size, five bed, three bath, little bit of uh, elbow grease, get that equity up. And this is a highly sought after neighborhood. City Park, like I said, is just down the street here. It's 330 acre park. They've also got a golf course attached right to it. Uh, the zoo is there. Uh, Museum of Nature and Science is at City Park. Uh, there's a big lake you can walk around. I know they do uh, jazz nights in the summertime. So you can go out, walk down, have a picnic, uh, enjoy yourself there. and. Um, you know, hood's great. You got lots of runners and joggers, people walking their dogs, uh, riding their bikes. A little bit closer to Highway I-70, um, Interstate 70, which takes you straight up into the mountains or straight out to the airport. So again, centrally located here in Denver, uh, city park neighborhood, five bed, three bath, $599,000. All right, so we're here in Cap Hill neighborhood. Uh, it's actually called Cap Hill because the Capitol building's right down the street there. Uh, this first property is listed at $369,000. It's two bed, two bath. Uh, comes with a one car garage and another parking spot, which is great uh, because right here in the heart of the city, uh, parking's hard to come by. So a lot of times you'll see folks, they find a spot, they leave their car there. Everything else is in walking distance. So. Having that dedicated space for you uh, is actually a, a highly sought after commodity. Uh, I know people that just even rent out their, their parking spots, so maybe a way to generate some, some income uh, to offset the cost. But um, you know, speaking of cost, you know, rent just keeps going up. So at 369, uh, this property is actually a really good value. Um, it's two bed, two bath, 1,221 square feet. And, you know, as you can tell, uh, it looks much bigger than that. And that's because they've sectioned out uh, the, the property itself into four units. So, um, you know, in these bigger cities like that, uh, like Denver, you know, they got to find creative ways to, to have housing for everybody. Uh, so at 1,200 square foot, though, it's actually a really good size for being in the heart of everything. Kind of a busy street, but it's city living. Right, so kind of expect that. Um, but 
It's off street parking in the back. And you know, a lot of knife, nightlife activities going on here. Just a couple blocks away uh, is Main Street called Colfax. And you know, they've got a lot of nightlife there. Lots of music venues. The Ogden is literally catty corner from here. See a grocery store right there, pizza shop. Um, so if you're kind of one of those folks that likes to get out and do things, this is a perfect neighborhood to do that. Across the street, we've got actually a middle school, we've got a cathedral back here. I've seen someone, uh, they're over there throwing a ball to their dog, uh, which looks fun. They're enjoying the sunshine. Uh, I actually had to, as you can see, throw my shades on because it's right in my eyes right now, but it's a beautiful bluebird day. And, uh, you know, we call it a bluebird day because there's not a cloud in the sky, so. This particular property, as I mentioned, right in the heart of everything, so you can step out your front door, walk a couple blocks and, and find something, something to do, something to eat. I mean, any kind of cuisine you, you can think of, uh, you'll find it right in this kind of five block radius. Not only are we close to a bunch of nightlife activities, um, the museum district, the art district, one of them, uh, the Golden Triangle, just down the street here on 13th. So, you know, again, at 369, cool spot like this, it's not cookie cutter, got some character to it. Um, they've preserved it pretty well. And, um, you know, I think it's a, a fun spot to be, especially for, for those who like to get out and, and do something different every day. Uh, so I hope I've been able to capture the, you know, the building itself and, um, what I'll do next is drive around a couple blocks. So we've made our way over to the third house. Uh, it's listed at 775,000, three bed, two bath, 1,876 square feet. Um, Truly a move-in ready. They've they've renovated the inside and it looks great. Uh, we're on the west side of town now, and in the sunny side neighborhood. Um, actually jumped over I-25, which splits Denver in half. And you know the the farther you move west, the closer you're getting to the mountains, and a lot of times prices will go up. But it's a quiet neighborhood. Uh, you can tell there's there's kids that live around here. I can see some toys across the street in the yard. Uh, you know, we've been here a couple minutes. I don't think a car's driven by it's because it is quiet, right? Uh, Rocky Mountain Lake Park is just down the way. I know 46th Avenue right here is a good thoroughfare. It's actually one of my favorite streets in the springtime. All these mature trees, you know, they fill in with their leaves and it, uh, it's, just, it's just really pretty because they cover the street, right? And it just makes for a very scenic kind of neighborhood, kind of iconic so to speak now this house again another brick brick ranch uh, you will find some other two-story homes a lot of times people again will tear down old if, if they haven't been well kept uh, build up new modern homes um, sometimes they're duplexes but this particular one it's a great brick ranch three bed two bath 1876 square feet true move-in ready uh, I like what they've done inside. I probably wouldn't touch really anything in there, at least for a little bit. Again, this is the sunny side neighborhood, the west part of Denver, just on the edge. Uh, once you jump over, you get into Lakeside and Edgewater and all that, which you can check out in some of our other video tours. But for the price, $775, big house. You might even call it Forever House as well. You know, you can see yourself growing here, starting a family or expanding one or not. Um, a lot of things to do. This was 46th Avenue, 38th Avenue. You've got some restaurants, some coffee places, some breakfast spots. Uh, used to get breakfast burritos right down the street when I lived in this neighborhood a uh, handful of years ago. So overall, Sunnyside is more neighborhood, is uh, family oriented. You'll see a lot of kids running around middle school and elementary schools just down the road but it's a great jumping off point because I-70 is right there as well. So you can get up to the mountains, get downtown. It's just a couple miles uh, to get downtown. Actually, 38th goes all the way there. You know, public transit, you got the light rail, everything you need to have a fun night out without having to take an Uber or a Lyft. So 
like we always do, I'll uh, wrap up here. We'll drive around the neighborhood so you can see some of the other houses uh, as they compare. But all of them, again, are pretty similar. Brick ranch with a porch on the front so you can enjoy these uh, sunny Colorado days. So that's a wrap for today. We took it through three neighborhoods, saw three different properties, went to City Park, uh, shot on down to Cap Hill, and finished up here in Sunnyside. Now, again, if you're moving to nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call. Uh, leave a comment below. We'd love to help you make a smooth move here to the Mile High City. I think I'm gonna jump in here, radiator, just down the street from that last house, grab myself a coffee. So until next time, hopefully we see you around town.